welcome to another episode of my linux security series in this training i'm going to show you how you can install or protect your server with fail to ban fail to ban is a package we install on our servers to protect our servers from what brute force attacks yes as the name suggests fail to ban it bans whichever ip that tries to lock into your server via ssh and have failed a certain number of trials so let's say i set my fail to ban uh, configuration file to ban any ip address that tries three failed attempts then fail to ban is the software that we can use to do that we can specify the number of trials we want failed attempts to get banned so if they are excited to have this package installed on your server stay tuned because right now i'll be showing you how to install and set up fail to ban to get started go to your terminal and we're going to ssh into our connection and then i taught you how to change your default port to a custom port if you have not watched that go back and watch my last video it's a good practice to have a default sorry a custom ssh port stop using the default 22 default port 22 so all we need to do is just hit enter and we will lock in right away because i'm using ssh keys again it's good to use ssh keys to connect to your server stop using roots and passwords for your ssh connection if you don't know how to do that i have a video on how you can generate ssh keys and upload them to your server to have an ssh connection for your server so the way we check out whether we have fail to ban installed is we want to check for the status of fail to ban so you can just put sudo systemctl right systemctl status okay status of fail to ban we enter our password for, so I enter my password and fail to ban is not found on our system so the way we install it is but before we install any software we have to simply update or first of all update our server so the way we do that is we put sudo apt update okay so just put update 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 and sudo apt upgrade okay now i want to append it with what a yes okay so sudo apt update and apt upgrade hit enter and our server is downloading the latest packages and is installing them right away so let's wait for everything to finish all right so we are done with our uh upgrade process all we need to do now is we want to now install our software or our package called fail to ban so the way we do that is we'll put sudo apt let me clear my screen so that you can see clear now sudo apt install fail to ban hit enter and wait for this software to install now let's enter a yes right so guess when you hit on enter the capital letter is going to come okay so this one will take effect right you can equally put y there hit enter and wait and the package is going to be installed on our system 
so we've successfully installed our software now we need to start it okay so what well, after installing it you have to start it so the way we do that is we want to put cd system ctl all right and then you put start fail to ban so let's put start fail fail to ban hit enter and our software is started now we want to enable it on system what boot or system startup that means if your server goes down and comes back online we want the software to still be up, up and running so just put the same command but the start remove that and put what enable right let's put enable enable fail to ban excellent so we've enabled the software fail to ban so next we want to now check for the status of the software to see if it is now up and running so i just clear my screen and I'll put sudo system system ctl status of fail to ban. So let's put fail to ban. Hit enter. And our software is what? Running and active. Okay. It's active. That's very good. So the software is active. But it's now left with some configurations that we have to do on this software. If not, it will not take effect. All right. So we want to go and specify some parameters. So control C. All right. Guess we control C to get out of that. All right. So control C. Now we're going to clear again. Next, we are going into a directory called the etsy directory so let's right now let's see where we are so we we'll print working directory where we are we're here so we want to go back and go back again we want to go back all right now we we'll list and this is our directory right etsy directory so what we do is we navigate into the SC directory. So we just go into the HC directory, go inside. And inside this SC directory, there is a file called fail to ban. So let's see if we will see it. All right, it's here. A folder called fail to ban or directory. Let's go into that directory, fail to ban. And inside read, we want to list the content that is inside so right now these are the configuration files that are inside the software fail to ban okay so next up what we want to do is we're looking for a file called jail okay this is where what we're going to configure so jail.config now we're going to take a backup of this file and put it on a safe location because we don't want to work with this file in case we mess up we'll, we'll have something to fall back on so the way we do that is we want to make sure we copy so we just type cp jail all right so we're going to copy that particular file we'll copy this file and we we'll put it in a location on, on a different file called jail dot local right jail dot local to local now we are moving this to a new file called jail dot local hit enter now permission denied so we have to run a sudo uh command before so i'll just put sudo because we have to be a root user before so let's put sudo 
before you can now copy it. Now let's list and we should have a new file called deal.local. Now this is the file we want to edit, all right? We don't want to edit the original file. We want to edit the deal.local. So I'll clear my screen once again. And from here, what I want to do is let's list the content. And we're going to sudo nano. We want to use the nano text editor. I want to edit the jail.local local file. Hit enter. And here we are inside. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right. Okay. I hope you can see. So now, inside here, we want to go to a part that says SSH jail so let's just let's continue scrolling all right so don't touch anything here now this is these are comments you can read to get better understanding so we have ban time okay these are i guess explanations ban time is the number of seconds that a host is banned and if ban time is set to 10 minutes that means that person will be banned for what 10 minutes right so continue scrolling and we want to get to a part that says ssh so all right so this is the part ssh d okay so what we want to do is we want to make sure just beneath this all right beneath the ssh d beneath it what we want to put there is we want to put enable so we enable ssh d Right now, it's not active, so we just want to enable. So we say enabled is equal to what? True. Now, our port. Remember, we change our port in our last video. Make sure you change your SSH port, your SSH locking port here. If not, fail to ban will not take effect. Okay? So we leave it like that. Now we come down again. Now, inside here, we want to put ban time. Just type it exactly as you see it. So, ban time is equal to... So, how many minutes do you want to ban a user or a host? We can put 10 minutes, 10 M. So, that means after 10 minutes, they can try logging in again. So, for me, what I want to do is, I want to put 1 H. That means 1 hour. is after 1 hour that he can get the chance or the opportunity to log in back into the word server so i want to put one hour but you can also put 30 minutes if you want all right to 30 m now next up how many trials do you want this user to so the maximum trials before the ban so maximum trial maximum retrial re try so it's maximum retry all right maximum that's max retry as you see it okay if you type it wrong the system will not work so max retrial max retrial so i want to be very strict with my ssh connection so after three attempts i want to ban this user for 30 minutes all right so next up let's put what again maybe we put our fine time fine time as the same as what 30 minutes or 20 minutes So the way I explain fine time is, all right, it's very simple. Now, if you put 20 minutes there and a host attempts three times, three filled times, okay, or three filled attempts, 
within these 30 minutes, then the IP will be banned. Okay. So this this this, this is the window. All right, the interval. If you put five minutes, okay. So let's say five minutes, five minutes. So within five minute period, if the host tries three failed attempts, then it's going to be banned. So in order not to ban yourself, if you try the second time and you got it wrong as the owner of the server, then you have to wait so that after six or after five minutes, then you should be able, you should go back and retry. If not, you ban yourself with this software fail to ban. I hope it's clear. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to hold down Control S to save the changes and Control X to go out. From there, we want to restart our software called fail to ban. So the way we do that is we put sudo systemctl, right? Systemctl restart, okay? So restart fail to ban. Fail to ban. And next, we hit enter and our software is started. So now we are going to check our lock files to see if people have tried to log in or not. So what we do is we just put CD and we go into the root and inside here we list and we go into a directory called var. So we just change directory to a var directory and from there we go inside another directory called lock directory. Whilst we're here, we want to check our files to see. There are two important, most important files or log files we want to monitor. Auth lock and fail to ban lock. So let's read these files by using the cat. And we're going to print out our auth lock. We're going to specify that there and hit what? enter but we have to be a root user before so i simply put root attach sorry i said root we simply put sudo attach and a lot right so a lot is going on here okay so with the lock files the off lock file this will show you the hosts that are trying to lock into your server all right and it's also going to ban them for you so invite user see it'll give you every information you need about invite user admin okay so now see invite user admin from this IP address, port this. Connection is closed. This is because bots are not trying to log into my server. All right. With some random ports and things. You see that? So they are guessing these ports to see if they can log in. So it's good to have this software up and running. Because day in, day out, people try logging into or brute force into your server. Okay. Hey guys, we are done with the security aspect of our server. Now, the remaining videos are not directly related to security, but they are very helpful if you are new to Linux and you still want to learn, then you can continue watching these videos in order. Guess as I create them. So thank you for watching this aspect of the training, which is the security aspect. So next I'll be showing you how to connect to VNC in case you forget your password or your, in case you have problem connecting to your server via SSH connection. So thank you for watching, hoping to catch you on that video.